Did you know that we have our very own airport right here in Meridian? Before we get started, let's get a little background information on the airport and how it got the name Key Field. Al and Fred Key of Meridian, Mississippi were brothers that managed the Meridian Municipal Airport during the 1920s. When the Great Depression hit, the airport was at risk of being closed down. The Key brothers came up with a plan to draw attention to Meridian. Their plan was to break the standing flight endurance record. This involved air-to-air -air refueling, which means another plane had to fill the gasoline tank of the airplane while they were both flying in the air. This was considered very dangerous at the time, but luckily the Key brothers, along with the help of a local inventor, came up with a new invention that would allow for spill-free fueling that is still used today. The Key brothers took off on a plane named Ole Miss from the Meridian Airport on June 4, 1935, and flew for 27 days without touching ground. This broke the non-stop endurance flight record, which remains unbroken to this day. They flew so many miles that they could have flown around the Earth twice. After this flight, the Meridian Airport was named Key Field in their honor. Now that you know a little bit more about our very own airport, come with us as we take flight from the Meridian Regional Airport. First things first, during these times of COVID, it's important to remember to keep your mask on at all times. The first step when going through the airport is to get checked in for your flight. All passengers will have a ticket they must present, which you can print out or use a virtual copy on your phone. If you are over the age of 18, you must show your driver's license for identification or your ID. Children do not have to have a photo ID if they are just flying within the United States. If you are flying out of the country, you will need a passport, which includes a picture of you and verifies that you are a citizen of the United States. After you check into the airport, you will have to go through security line. The Transportation Security Administration, also known as the TSA for short, is in charge of searching you and your belongings to make sure nothing dangerous gets on the plane. You will have to place all of your belongings in a bin and onto a conveyor belt, which will be screened using X-ray technology. Next, you will walk through a metal detector. All of these measures are in place to make sure you and everyone else on your flight will arrive safely at the final destination. Some passengers may be selected to be pulled out of the line for further screening, which involves a security officer patting you down. Don't be scared if this happens. Remember, these officers have a duty to keep everyone safe. Now it's time to board our flight. Right now, the Meridian Airport offers flights to and from Houston, Texas daily. If Houston is not your final destination, you can fly to Houston and then get on another airplane that will take you to your final destination. Hi, my name is Millie and I want to know what a flight attendant does. The flight attendant's job is to assist passengers before, during, and after the flight. They are responsible for helping passengers find their seats, showing safety demonstrations before takeoff, passing out food and beverages throughout the flight, and assisting passengers with any other necessary needs. While our plane is on its way to Houston, let's take a look at the people and the jobs that make this flight possible. Pilots are responsible for flying the plane. There are two pilots in the cockpit, a pilot and a co-pilot. There are several different ways for you to become a pilot and just like driving a car, you will need to get a pilot's license before you are able to fly a plane. Let's take a minute to talk to Tim and Tom Rose, two local pilots right here in Meridian. Hello, I'm Tim Rose, a corporate pilot with Progressive Pipeline. Here to talk to you today about aviation and uh, different opportunities there are out there. Uh, some things that, that pilots do, well, we do a lot of things. We fly airplanes, but there's a lot more to it than just that. Uh, we have to study the weather. You look for forecasts, you file flight plans, uh, 
The biggest thing is, is safety. You always want to make sure that the aircraft is safe, the people on board are, are taken care of. That's, that's your responsibility. When people get on the airplane, you want to make sure they get to where they're going and uh, get there safe. Uh, technology's come a long way in aviation since I learned to fly. Uh, early on, you had a lot more radios, uh, VORs, ADFs, that type of equipment. Uh, modern technology with a GPS has really improved and made situational awareness. Uh, knowing where you're at, how high you're going, how fast you're going is a lot easier. How far you are from where you want to be. Uh, all those uh, situations are, are much easier now and at a pilot's fingertips, which makes things safer uh, all the way around. Uh, and uh, different avenues or ways to, to get if you're interested in becoming a pilot. There are a lot of aviation-based schools out there that will uh, help assist you in achieving your goals. Yeah. College education, uh, along with uh, flight uh, training uh, at these schools, you know, it's probably the best way of doing it. Other avenues are just uh, what's called a general aviation, a GA pilot. That's somebody who does it just uh, recreation or for their own personal business or just. Uh, you know, uh, for personal goals is also, yeah, and, and there's uh, usually at any, well, at Meridian Airport, there's several instructors and ways to get your pilot's license. Hello, my name is Tom Rose. I'm uh, also a, a corporate pilot for Progressive Pipeline. And my question is how math and science uh, is applied to this job as being a pilot and uh, one way math is applied is aviation uh, in these kind of airplanes uh, your fuel load is in pounds so when you get to where you're going uh, you need to know how to convert a pound number to a gallon number so you have to do some uh, some math uh, science part of it is weather which Tim had talked about earlier uh, we need to know um, Weather is probably one of the most important things to uh, aviation and to being a pilot. So you need to know how to look at weather, look at uh, weather fronts and uh, winds. Winds has a big, uh, a big effect on the airplane, how fast it goes or how slow it goes, depending on if you got a headwind or a tailwind. So those are math and science questions related to being a pilot. How high can your plane fly? These airplanes fly at 45,000 feet. Every airplane is different depending on what kind of airplane it is. Okay. I have never been in an airplane before. How do you stay up in the air when you're flying? Aircraft are able to sustain flight because the engines produce thrust. The thrust moves the aircraft forward, which forces air over the wings, and the aerodynamical effect of the wings create lift, and that's what gives the airplane the ability to stay in the air. Where do you go when you fly? That's one of the great things about the job is the fact that we get to go all over. Uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast, California, up to New York, uh, down e even into the Caribbean, uh, in Canada and South America. So, so most of the time but we, we always go where our clients need to go and where we're needed. What does an air traffic controller do? The air traffic control tower is responsible for directing planes while they are in the sky and to help them take off and land safely. They keep an eye on the weather and the paths of all planes to make sure they don't crash into each other. You will never see the air traffic controllers when you board the plane, but if you look up there will be a tall tower. This is where the air traffic controllers work. Being in this tall tower allows them to see everything that is happening on the runway and to look for incoming planes who are ready to land. So air traffic control separates aircraft and issues safety alerts. Um, we have two position or three positions in the tower. We have local control, flight data ground, local controls all the planes in the air and all the planes landing a runway or taking off from a runway. Ground controls all the vehicles, planes on the ground, uh, personnel taxiing and moving around on the airfield. And then we have a watch supervisor who just kind of watches everyone and makes sure that we're doing our jobs right. 
Can a plane fly in a bad weather? Can a plane fly through lightning? So planes cannot fly through bad weather as air traffic controllers, we keep them out of the bad weather and they are not allowed to fly through lightning because it will damage their aircraft. Hey, my name is Levi Smith and this is what I wanna know. I wanna, I wanna know, my daddy's a mechanic and I wanna know of what kind of airplanes, of what they fix on a mechanic of an airplane. Hello everyone, I'm Justin at Dean Aircraft Service and being a car mechanic is really not that much different than being an aircraft mechanic. Most of it's just training, but sometimes maybe we have an extra engine or we even have wings. But at the end of the day, it's still just being a mechanic. Just like cars need a tune-up every now and then, so do planes. Dean Aircraft Services has provided aircraft maintenance right here in Meridian since 1983. The mechanics crews make sure everything is working properly on the plane before takeoff. If there is a problem with the plane, the mechanics are responsible for fixing it. Airplanes are inspected by the mechanics before every takeoff to ensure the airplane will make it safely to its next destination. It looks like our plane has reached its final destination. Remember to remain seated with your seatbelt on until the flight attendant tells you it is safe to exit the plane. Now that the plane is landing, how do you make sure it doesn't run into the airport? To keep the plane from hitting the airport, um, we use hand signals to communicate with the captain um, to tell him, you know, to direct him which way to go um, so far as in the airport. And that, you know, tell him to come forward, um, turn left, turn right, um, and stop. And that's all it is to it. Don't forget to grab your luggage from the baggage claim. Cleaning the planes in between flights has always been important, but it is even more important now during the coronavirus pandemic. The airport crew is using a special machine that helps to kill any germs that might have been left behind from passengers on the flight. Now that our plane has landed, it looks like it's time for us to go. Thank you for joining us on our field trip through the Meridian Airport. Now you can probably see why this airport is known as the best little airport in the world. As you can see, there are many different jobs that go into making sure passengers arrive safely at their destination. Whether you are flying to a fun vacation spot or headed to a business trip, airport and airline employees do their best to make your trip easy. The Mississippi Children's Museum of Meridian will be opening soon and we can't wait for you to see it. There will be all kinds of fun exhibits including one that will be called Wings of Wonder. This exhibit will include a plane that you can climb into and pretend to be a pilot. Check out this drawing of what the exhibit will look like. How cool is that? We can't wait to see you all at the Mississippi Children's Museum Meridian soon. Thank you to the Meridian Airport and Progressive Pipeline for helping our children take flight, literally.